So, so we're here at Wayzata Sailing, Sailing, and this is the 2024 winner of the Sears Cup in San Diego at the 1st of August. And first of all, congratulations, you guys. Thank That's you. quite an accomplishment. Sears Cup has been around since uh, 1921. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. So congratulations, you guys. So I know who, who's who. So okay. Uh, yeah, my name is Stonewall Anderson. Sixteen. I did. I did spend the gym and spinnaker. Mm-hmm. Okay. My name is Harper Money Hetland. I'm fifteen, and I was like the eyes and ears and did, like the detail work. Like the tactician. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. okay. I'm Ella Bowers. I'm fourteen, and I was on bow. Uh huh. Okay. I'm Dominic Monker, I am 17 and I drove. And mm -hmm. I'm Jackson Connell, I'm the head coach here at Wazev Sailing, 25, and I grew up sailing in the program and uh, transitioned into coaching here. Yeah, and you grew up here sailing here? Yep. Yep, okay. So what was the, uh, so the uh, Sears Cup is a qualified race, mm -hmm. and so wow. Jackson, can you tell me a little bit about what it took to to qualify for the Sears Cup. So we hosted the qualifiers here in our J22s doing three boats and doing a rotation setup, so a round robin. Mm -hmm. And so those guys won every race of that, just bit through the fleet, got everything. Uh huh. And uh, but they qualified here. This is for Area K and. Uh, and how many areas are, are there in the U.S.? Eleven. Mm-hmm. Yep. So there's eleven. And how many how many teams from each area can qualify? Two. Uh, two. Yeah. Two. So okay. two were available to us. Uh, mm -hmm. The other team wasn't able to make it to San Diego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We took the spot. Okay. We took the spot. That was a part of why we had Ella at a uh, late addition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Our other fourth was not able to come, mm -hmm. and so okay, jumped on it, got Ella, and uh, made sure our team could go to nationals once we qualified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I immediately accepted the offer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. So, uh, have you had you had had you been to San Diego before when you went there? Not been there for sailing. I've uh -huh. been. Maybe twice, but never for sailing. Uh huh. So, what, what did you think about the competition there, and 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 so on? And uh, so, tell me a bit about the competition, how what it was like. Well, I mean, getting there, we knew no one, and uh -huh. we weren't really sure how uh, how it would go. Yeah. Um, but starting to practice against them on the clinic day, we started to feel yeah maybe we're actually like. At the uh, at the level of these people, maybe we can mm -hmm. actually compete. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it, I mean, there was strong com competition from all sides. But yeah, yeah. We uh, we did pretty well. So. Uh huh. Yeah. So how did you actually finish out in the regatta? What what? Um, how many? So how many races were there in the regatta, and, and what were your what were what were your points? I'd have to. I think we that up. we had ten. Good. Qualifying series races. Uh huh. Um, when was it four or six? I think we had four in four in gold fleet four and after gold that. Um, we finished with a three point lead? Something like that. Something uh huh. Like that. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then yes. the third place was, was very good. Yeah. Six or eight points behind us. So it was close mm -hmm. one and two. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. What were the conditions like? Were they different than you thought they it would was, be? Were they it was used? a lot different than I thought, but it uh -huh. was pretty much lake sailing. It exactly. was five uh -huh. knots yep. and shifty. Uh -huh. well, I'm yep. looking at the patterns. Yep, yep. So you were used to that then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was, it was probably shifty from the, from the land coming down. Yeah, right there. Uh huh. So what was your, what was your favorite victory, do you think? Talk about your favorite I, favorite victory. I would have to your say favorite we, win. We got a fourth and then a ninth, and we were really down after that. Uh huh. And we had lunch and then we talked with the team and came back with two firsts. So oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that was really. And what do you think? Maybe maybe you just get two firsts. Just and you were just. Was it uh, was it Jackson? Something Jackson said. <laughs> I think it was just the recent. 
reset. I'm having lunch. Just push the reset button. We just got uh -huh. to sit down and eat lunch and yeah. not think about it for a little while. Look ahead rather than back. Which is something Jackson did really help us with, just saying if you get a bad race, reset and figure it out. Yeah. So we just kind of took that. And like, don't look back. One of the so. interesting things about these U.S. sailing events is that uh, they don't allow third-party coaching. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't able to travel with them to the event. It was oh, like, really? Oh, I interesting. I had like the training. I mean, I've been coaching Here. Stonewall and Don for years, but since they both came into the program, essentially. Right, right. Uh, and we worked a lot at the start of the spring, going into summer, mm -hmm, starting mm -hmm. to get into 22s. I mean, Wyzetta Yacht Club has a fantastic 22 program. Yeah. Um, yeah. So not only myself, but Matt Thompson, Lars Hansen, Rob Comis, all were big parts of helping out with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but on my end, it was a lot of like watching score lines and then end From of day afar. making a call. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And we had already worked a lot on the mental side of it. Like mm -hmm. how can we reset ourselves? It's kind of the first regatta these guys have done without a coach on hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so learning how to do that themselves and just be able to roll right into the next race right, and right. be in a good headspace. It's right. such a mental sport. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting you had to do it from afar, you know, yeah. It, yeah. It the, pre uh, preloaded ahead of time. I think yeah. my favorite thing after the event was, they won, and I think I tried to give one of them a phone call. <laughs> and then I called Uda, Dom's mom, mm -hmm. and uh, she hadn't even seen him yet either. And then 30 seconds into the call, I'm on the phone with her, and she's like, oh, and I turned around, oh, I see him coming down the dock right now. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. got on the phone, and I think Stonewall was the one to pick up. Too. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like, yeah. are you guys kidding me? Like, <laughs> you just won nationals. Wow, yeah, that's and pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really tough to watch from afar. As yeah, I bet. Coach. I bet it was. But I it bet. was really cool to see as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what would you guys like to do from here? What What are you thinking about from here? I think we're looking into going to back to Sears next year, mm -hmm. and doing it again. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say right now we're really focusing on this coming high school season and doing well on that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know these three are younger, but I'm definitely focusing a lot on college at this point as uh -huh. well. Okay, okay. And I think the other big one is looking at the high school Keelboat Nationals as well. Okay. We have our Great Lakes Championship here in the Midwest, but mm -hmm. Um, our keelboat event is one of our two big national events during the fall. One being Cressy, high school single-handed champs, mm -hmm. um, but the second really is keelboat. And so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. working towards those and then I think working towards our uh, spring national events. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And that's at U.S. sailing level or high school level? That's all at uh, scholastic level. So scholastic level. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So, what do you guys have to say for kids who are younger than you that are just starting? What would you like, what would you say to them, given what you've been able to do and how you've had, you know, enjoyed what you've done and how you've succeeded? So, what would, what would you have to say to kids that are just, just on the little opties out here? I think, I remember like the first time I started sailing, it was like, doing it for fun, having a really fun time. And mm -hmm. that's like, I got scared and almost stopped sailing and then mm -hmm. kept pushing back. And it's like that journey of finding this thing, something I really enjoy and then being able to take it to this next level and this next level and being pushed by like coaches and the other kids I have in my class. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. starting out, I never thought that I'd get to this like competitive level, but mm -hmm. it's, you really don't know where it's gonna take you and it's just do it and keep on doing it, see what mm -hmm. goes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, to add on to that, I think Go to everything you can. It doesn't matter if you think you're going to do absolutely terrible. Go mm -hmm. to it because it is a learning experience and it will help you figure out how to do better. And mm -hmm. then you can go again and you can, I mean, you can do really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And really listen to your coaches. Yeah. Yep. And Especially this guy. This guy's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> and oh. your peers who 
might be older or better than you. Mm -hmm. Just like they might have some really good advice. Mm -hmm. So always be humble and mm -hmm. listen and listen to. Yep. Yep. Okay. Have anything you want to add? Um, I say just like make friends on the team <laughs> yes. because it's going to be a lot easier and more fun if you have people uh -huh. that you can talk to and ask questions and just be comfortable around. So, so it's like a, a friendly team is a team that wins. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We sweep that. Yeah. <laughs> so friend, friendly is fast. Okay. Right. And don't be shy. <laughs> ask away. Yeah. And I think from a coaching perspective, like things I really love to see that I think these four all really have that attribute is like one just like be a sponge and don't be the smartest person in the room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same thing on the boat like take up that knowledge from people that have been through it and have uh, yeah. been to events yeah. like this or seen how to win how to do everything, even seeing how to lose. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think the other one that I think I'm really proud of from this crew is just the sportsmanship aspect as well. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Whether it's just saying thanks race committee or saying good race to your competitor really helps when you can make friends and especially coming into really our first high level event in a while outside of scholastic sailing. Um, being able to make those friends and make lifelong connections is something yeah. that has been important to me, but it's also really exciting to see you guys start to form that. Mm -hmm. And then take your penalty spins. Don't try to get away with those. Good point. <laughs> I'll say yes. Yes. Okay, don't try to, to tough it out. Yeah. Yeah, take it. Take it. Take them if you're, yeah. Good yeah. sportsmanship. Which is part of sportsmanship, right? Exactly. Anything else you guys want to add? May I ask what you like and what you didn't like? Oh, it's too, it's ready? Well, is there anything you didn't like? I don't think so. You guys all hate <laughs> You all hate the salt water. You guys oh, hate the salt, salt water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Salt water. I, I was not expecting to jump into an oh. ocean. And, oh, uh, I saw the picture of you guys jumping in salty. in shallow water. Hopefully. Yeah, it's so. uh, <laughs> It's cold and salty yes. and kind of, it's, it's not it, a lake. It's not yeah, as cold as the lake. Jumped in and then came up bobbing, ah, the salt, just screaming your head <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Okay, well, you, you, but you survived. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Oh, and the view was amazing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully you'll be able to go back. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, it's a great, it's a great sailing venue. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have.